gently rub the leaf with your fingers. Rub the leaf gently on both the sides. Then I am using my old toothbrush to clean the leaf. For the second leaf, I am holding the soaked leaf in my hand and I use a old toothbrush to clean the leaf. Rub the leaf gently with the brush on both the sides. For the third leaf, I placed the soaked leaf inside a plate filled with water and with the old toothbrush, I clean it gently on all sides. After cleaning, wash the leaf skeletons in the running water. As you can see, there won't be much difference by using any of these techniques. As we can still see some green parts of the leaf, I am soaking it again in water for another week. Now, I only use my brush to clean the leaf in the running water. After getting the complete skeleton, I dry the leaf on a dry cloth. After drying, we get a beautiful skeleton leaf like this. This skeleton leaf can be preserved without any damage in the books or notes between the pages. By preserving the leaf skeleton between pages, you can make it more flatter. So it makes easier for us to paint on the leaf. Thank you for watching. Kindly like, share and comment me your views on this video.